Hi everybody! In this video, I'm going to go through Kramer's rule step by step. And we are going to do example of each case. What is our main purpose with Kramer's rule? Kramer's rule will tell us the unique solution to a system of equations, if it exists. If the system has no solution, or infinite number of solutions, it will be indicated by a determinant of zero. Let's see what we really mean by all this on solid examples. Let's start with 2 by 2 system. Our system is 2x minus 3y equals to 27 and 4x plus 2y equals to negative 2 is given. Our first step is to put this system into augmented matrix form. So our matrix, let's call it A, will be 2, 4, the coefficients of x, and negative 3, 2, the coefficients of y. Our variable column is x and y. We have two variables here. And they are equal to column B, which is 27, negative 2. After we set up the matrix, we need to find the determinant of matrix A. Determinant of matrix A is given by the multiplication of right diagonal minus left diagonal. So 2 times 2 is 4 minus 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. 4 minus minus 12 is 16. So our determinant of A is 16. Now we need to find dx and dy. dx is given by switching the x column with b column. So we are going to switch x column and b column here. Instead of x column, we are going to write 27, negative 2, because that's our b, and y column stays the same. And y column, or dy, will be given by switching the y column and b column. 2 and 4 stays as the x column. Instead of y column, we write 27, negative 2. Now we need to take the determinant of each. Determinant here is 27 times 2, which is 54, minus negative 2 times negative 3, which is positive 6. 54 minus 6 is 48. 48 is our dx. We need to take the determinant of dy matrix. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 minus 4 times 27 is 108. And negative 4, negative 108 is negative 112. This is our dy. Now we can apply the formula. For x variable, we need to divide dx by determinant of a. And for y, we need to divide dy by determinant of x. Determinant of a. Determinant x divided by determinant a is 48 divided by 16 which is going to be 3. And dy over the determinant of a is negative 112 over 16, which is negative 7. 3, negative 7 is the solution to this system. Let's go to other examples and talk about little bit special cases. If the determinant of a is 0 and dx and dy is non-zero, then system has no solution. If the determinant of a is 0 and dx and dy is 0, which is everybody's 0, if we have three variables, then dz is also 0.
then it means we have infinitely many solutions. If the determinant of A is non-zero and everybody is zero, then the system is passing through origin and solution is zero, zero, zero. So all lines intersect at origin. So geometrically, no solution means two lines or three lines are parallel. They don't intersect. They have no common point. Infinitely many solutions means two lines overlap. They are identically on top of each other. So there is infinitely many solution. Every single point satisfies the system. And if the determinant is non-zero and everybody is zero, then it means lines are passing through origin. This line is passing through origin. This line is passing through origin. And this line is also passing through origin. So this is our solution, this point. Let's see example two. In example two, our system is given 3x minus 5y equals to 5 and 6x minus 10y equals to 21. Our first step is to put this into augmented matrix form. So the coefficients are 3 and 6, negative 5 and negative 10. Our column B is 5, 21. This is column B. Now we are going to take the determinant of A. Determinant of A is given by the product of right diagonal minus the product of left diagonal. So right diagonal is 3 times negative 10, which is negative 30, minus left diagonal is 6 times negative 5, which is negative 30. This is going to be negative 30 plus 30, which is going to be 0. So we have determinant of 0. If the determinant is 0, the system has either no solution or infinitely many solutions. To be able to test that, we need to know the x and the y. The x is given by switching the x column with b column. 521 and we keep the y column and we're going to take the determinant of this new matrix. The y is found by, we keep the x column, we switch the y column with b column. So it's going to be 5, 21 instead of y column. Now we're going to take the determinant of these. 5 times negative 10 is negative 50. Minus 21 times negative 5 is negative 105. And this is obviously non-zero, but if you want to calculate, it's going to be 55. If one of them is non-zero, then the system has no solution. You don't even need to check dy, but we can quickly check. 3 times 21 is 63. 6 times 5 is 30. So 63 minus 30 is 30. This is also non-zero. Even one of them is non-zero, the system is no solution. You could have more than two variables. Okay. Now, let's go to example three. In example three, our system is given as negative 2x minus 2y equals to 2 and negative x negative y equals to 1. Our first step is to put this into augmented matrix form, which is negative 2, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, and our b column will be 2, 1. This is our column b. Now we're going to find the determinant of a. Determinant of a is negative 2 times negative 1, which is positive 2 minus negative 1 times negative 2 which is positive 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. 
again our determinant is 0 so we need to task the x and the y Our dx is found by switching the x column with b column. So instead of x column, we're going to write 2, 1, which is our b column, and then our y column stays the same. Now, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, minus 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2, negative, negative 2 is negative 2 plus 2, which is 0. Our dx is 0. Now we need to know what the dy is. If it is also 0, the system has infinitely many solutions. If it is non-zero, then the system has no solution. For dy, we are going to switch only y column with b column. x column stays the same. And our b column comes here. Now we're going to take the determinant. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 minus negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Again, negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Since everybody is 0, the system has infinitely many solutions. Here, no solution. Here, infinitely many. This time, let's work on a little bit more complicated example. In this example, we were given a system and our first step is to convert this system into augmented matrix A. We are going to take the coefficients of x, y's and z's. This is our column B. Let me highlight the column B. And we can write dx, dy, and dz's by switching x column with b column, y column with b column, and z column with b column. Let me highlight them. This is the x column, we switched with b. This is the y column, we switched with b. And this is the z column, we switched with b b column. Now we are going to take the determinant of A. There are many different techniques to take determinant. Here I am going to apply row expansion. You can put this matrix into upper triangular form and take the product of the main diagonal. Now we are going to do row expansion. I would like to expand row 1 because there is 0 in it which will be helpful. So this is the row that we're going to expand. So our first entry is negative 4, second entry is 0, the third entry is negative 6. And this is the matrix I'm going to use. And the first column is I column, second column is negative J, K. So when you take the determinant, columns go positive, negative, positive, negative. Okay, so first entry is negative 4 times determinant of this blue matrix, which is negative 4, 2, negative 2, 1, minus, because it's minus j, 0 times determinant of negative 6, negative 1, negative 2, 1, plus negative 6 times this matrix. Negative 6, negative 1, negative 4, 2. Here, 0 times this determinant cancels out. The determinant here is 4 times 1, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, minus 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. This is 0, and 0 times negative 4 is 0. This also cancels out. Here the determinant is negative 6 times. 6 times negative 2, that's negative 12, minus negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4. So negative 12 minus 4 is negative 16. Negative 16 times negative 6 is 
positive 96. So this is our determinant for A. Using any other technique, you can find the determinant of the x, dy, and dz. I found it for you here. The x is negative 288, dy is 96, and dz is 384. After you found the determinants, the x, dy, and dz, now you can apply the formula. To be able to find x variable, you need to divide the x by the determinant of a. Negative 288 divided by 96 is negative 3. 96 divided by 96 is 1. And 384 divided by 96 is 4. So negative 3, 1, 4 is the unique solution for the given system. You need to follow the steps like this. Convert the system into augmented matrix form. Prepare your dx, dy, and dz matrices by switching x column with b column for here, y column with b column for here, and z column with b column at dz. And next step, you need to take the determinants of a, dx, dy, and dz, any technique you want. After you prepare the determinants, you're going to do divisions. For x variable, dx over determinant of a, for y variable, dy over determinant of a, and for z variable, dz over determinant of a and the values you get is the unique solution. Now it's your turn. Try to work on this system and you can write the answers at the comment. Thank you for watching. Good luck.